but like I said, growing exponentially uh, with uh, them achieving high volume by the end of this year. Currently, the Giga Texas factory is producing about 5,000 Model Ys per week. Tesla has reportedly ramped up production at Gigafactory Texas to thousands of units per week, with the addition of the Model Y Long Range on top of the Standard Range version. In the most recent podcast, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk revealed that Giga Texas's production by the end of this year could be roughly six times as high as it is now, which is similar to around 30,000 Model Ys per week. So, how can Giga Texas reach such a large output? Stay tuned to find out. In the meantime, welcome back to our channel, and if you're new, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos where we give you the most latest and most up-to-date information on Elon Musk, Tesla, and the world of EVs. Now, let's get started on today's content. Giga Texas will soon be able to reach 30,000 vehicles per week of production thanks to the application of the most efficient and innovative technologies in the world today. And this building is the, the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. Alien technology, exactly. You know a factory is uh, advanced if it feels like an alien dreadnought landed. Giga Texas is focusing on automated production processes to optimize the capacity of the factory. Inside the factory, the assembly line, including robotic arms many times the size of the human body as well as harmonious work between robots and humans, helps to accelerate Model Y production at Giga Texas. Machines and robots do the hard work that humans cannot. For example, lift an entire car. Meanwhile, humans perform other distinct and specific tasks. Both work in harmony, often on the same production line, to ensure that quality is delivered at every stage. Robot-only areas are also strictly monitored by the staff. In addition, some robots are incredibly complex and can carry out delicate tasks and even switch up their tools to perform different tasks. On the other hand, some robots are very simple, with only minimal programming and some proximity sensors. Such robots are mainly used to transport heavy items from one part of the Gigafactory to another along a fixed route mapped out by magnetic strips on the floor. Also, according to some sources, Giga Texas has installed 800 robots, of which nearly a third is dedicated to the Model Y alone. Ideal for repetitive tasks that require high accuracy, high speed, or heavy lifting, they take over several tasks, installing parts such as windows and seats, creating sub-assemblies such as batteries, and painting. Musk shared about using high technology in Giga Texas that an array of sensors and sophisticated machinery is backed up by intense programming and machine learning, and any mistake will be rectified, making artificial intelligence stronger day by day. And now, let's take a look at one of the most important ways that Tesla could achieve 30,000 cars per week in Giga Texas. This is how Tesla optimizes the production process from giant aluminum coils into a car. Some of this aluminum weighs as much as 20,000 pounds. A robot lifts up these coils from above and feeds them into another machine called the blanking machine. The blanking machine uncoils the aluminum and flattens it. Then it uses special tools, which include lasers, to cut the uncoiled aluminum into flat sheets called blanks. The blanks are then transferred by robots from the blanking machine into a giant press. This press then stamps the blanks into the required shape. This forms parts of the car such as the doors, hoods, side panels, and trunks, which will later be assembled to create the body and chassis of the car. A beautiful looking, completely functional electric car emerges at the end of the assembly line. A quality test is carried out on each car to ensure everything is in place and that the car's performance is up to par. Because of Tesla's long awaiting list, every car that leaves the factory most likely already has an owner. On top of Elon Musk emphasizing the importance of technology for the company to accelerate production purposes and the precision in each detail, the Giga Texas factory continues to employ around 3,000 workers who stagger their shift patterns throughout the day. This factory continues to recruit more and more workers in the near future. The number of employees can be up to 20,000 people, which aims to meet an increase in the production demand. Tesla is also very focused on recruiting talent to work at Giga Texas, especially those who have experience in developing and using high-tech robots and new technologies for producing EVs. Not only that, unlike the Fremont factory, the manufacturing process takes place under one roof, cutting down on redundant, unnecessary steps. A lot of sub-processes are carried out within the same factory. 
The fact that almost everything is made under the same roof helps the company to cut costs. It also makes production much faster. This is particularly important because the demand for Tesla cars exceeds the number of cars the factory dishes out. Kevin Pathrath, a financial analyst, had this to say about Giga Texas. They are bringing raw materials into this factory. They're not shipping in batteries. They're not shipping in motors. They're putting everything together in this plant. Aside from that, Elon Musk also plans to use thousands of humanoid robots called Tesla Bot for Giga Texas in the future. He also announced that Tesla might have a working prototype of the Tesla Bot, also known as Optimus, by September 30th at the end of the third quarter of 2022. The robots will specialize in doing monotonous tasks such as heavy lifting and serving food or drinks. It'll also be able to hold tools and recognize gestures from humans. Since the robots don't need to eat or sleep, it could work well beyond the healthy limits of humans. It would also not experience the burnouts of working long hours each day. Therefore, it could work continuously and increase the productivity at Giga Texas many times over. The huge die casting machine, also known as Gigapress, is also a powerful weapon for Giga Texas, which helps the factory manufacture many Model Ys in a short time. Now, Giga Texas has four Gigapresses with a maximum operating capacity of 73.1 tons per day per machine. In the near future, Giga Texas will continue to import 9,000 ton Gigapresses from IDRA Corporation to produce the body of Tesla's most anticipated electric pickup, the Cybertruck. To be able to produce about 30,000 vehicles per week, Giga Texas must also secure the battery supply chain for EV production. In addition to producing the 4680 battery itself at Giga Texas, Tesla also cooperates with other battery manufacturers to supply 4680 batteries for the Model Y made at Giga Texas. Panasonic, Tesla's oldest battery partner, has announced that it would be deploying a prototype production line for the new battery cell. Later, Panasonic's new CEO Yuki Kusumi said that it is prepared to make a large investment in producing Tesla's new battery cell if test production proves successful. Panasonic greenlit a $700 million investment to produce the 4680 cells in Japan. And with that, today's episode has come to an end. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.